I know. Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Ellie Morgan. I'm Lee Newton. <laughs> Got some asteroid news for you. As it turns out, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs is very similar to other asteroids. It wasn't one huge asteroid that just happened to wipe out the dinosaurs. It was part of a pelting, like a semi-automatic paintball gun from God that pelted the Earth until there was virtually nothing left. Two studies were recently published in Nature. They studied spherules which are embedded in rocks all over the world, and they're what's left behind after huge impacts. Whenever a giant species-destroying asteroid hits the Earth, it sends molten and vaporized rock, because apparently you can vaporize rock shooting into space. Then, some of that rock can escape our gravitational pull, and it heads back to Earth. Then, scientists find these particles all throughout the Earth's crust, and they put together a timetable somewhere between 3.5 and 1.7 billion years ago. In other words, the pelting of asteroids that destroyed dinosaurs lasted billions of years longer than previously estimated. Geophysicist Jay Malosh states, We can look at these spherules, see how thick the layer is, how big the spherules are, and we can infer the size and velocity of the asteroid. We can go back to the earliest era in the history of the Earth and infer the population of asteroids impacting the planet. That's cool. When they went back and studied these spherules, they found evidence of asteroids that were much larger than the dino-destroying one from 65 million years ago. The question then is where are all of the craters? Hey, have you seen where all the craters went? Yeah, I got a crater in my pants. Geophysicist Brandon Johnson states, Impact craters are the most obvious indication of asteroid impacts, but craters on Earth are quickly obscured on a geological time scale anyway, or destroyed by surface weathering and tectonic processes. The spheral layers, if preserved in the geologic record, provide information about an impact even when the source crater cannot be found. So there you have it, the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs wasn't anything special. No, it was like a little baby tiny asteroid. Like a baby when his earth is a baby asteroid. Boom! Dinosaurs annihilated! Where'd they go? Just because it was a little tiny baby asteroid doesn't mean it was a big deal. I mean, it killed dinosaurs. It's not a big deal. We're just, we're, we're not actual dinosaurs. We can just take those off. This is special effects. This is like Steven Spielberg type Jurassic Park type crap. Well, friend, there's no impending doom and we're not actually dinosaurs. I feel like maybe we should just take these things off. Maybe. So if you found out that you had two weeks before an asteroid was going to come plummeting down to Earth, what would you do with your two weeks? Let us know in the comments section down below. Also, there's a link in the description if you'd like to pick up some of our source-fed posters hot off the press. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below. Go to sourcefed.com for our five daily stories and everything else you've ever done. I'm Lane Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Dino-fed! Dino-fed! <laughs>